I'm just gonna believe that this is in focus. So, hey guys, so today's video is kind of just like, okay, I don't know why, but for some reason my camera keeps shutting off randomly and it's really freaking annoying. So, it just shut off. Where to begin? So, I'm just going to start with um, his breeder. He is bred by Tiki's Geckos, and this person, I found them from someone I follow on Instagram. I've been really watching it. I think they take really good care of their animals. They really care for their animals. I really trust them. So when I knew that I wanted to get another gecko, I didn't actually think I'd be buying from them. But the options, um, I don't know if I just didn't come at a good time in breeding or what, but like none of the local pet stores around me had um, any crusty geckos. The ones that they did have were really tiny and some of my local pet stores had, they had two pattern lists that were about his size, but I really didn't want pattern lists. I wanted something a little bit, I don't know, more special or something more that I liked. Um, and so I happened to see this guy. Yeah, they posted him on Instagram and I saw him and I just like fell in love with him. I don't know why he's like on in the Instagram photo, which maybe I'll include here. He looked just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why, but I just like I fell in love with him. And so I was like, that's a really cute gecko. And then I never thought that I'd be holding him in my hands, you know. When my parents were like, okay, fine, you can get a gecko from them. Um, I was really looking at all the other geckos, and I just could not get my mind off of this little guy. He, like, hooked me in. Um, so yeah, he was originally, I want to say he was, like, 180 originally, but I got him, uh, at a Christmas deal, so I think he ended up actually only being $75 plus shipping and handling, which was annoying. Um, shipping live reptiles is actually pretty expensive, as you can probably imagine. But, um, when I bought him... Like, in the picture, he had no tail, so he didn't drop his tail while living with me. He dropped it whenever he was in, like, with the breeders. So, yeah, that's not... I had nothing to do with uh, his tail drop, neither did his shipping. Um, he's absolutely adorable. The thing is, is he's only a probable male. I mean, I'm taking their word for it. He's probably going to be a male. It's based off, like, seeing pores and stuff and so I'm betting that he's definitely a male. I think they said they were 99% sure. So we're just gonna go with he's a male and he better be a boy because his name is Clyde <laughs> and that's definitely a guy's name. So if he's not a boy I guess his name will just stay Clyde but I'm pretty sure he's a boy. He looks like he's a boy. I've never liked sex to gecko. Before when I got scotchy he was like full grown so I already knew his gender 100%. So but yeah, this little boy is a yellow Dalmatian. I think he's also a tiger because if you look at him, whenever I do zoom ups, you'll be able to see some striping. But um, in the listed description of him, he was just listed as a yellow Dalmatian. Uh, he's not a super Dalmatian or anything. I would have loved it if he was a super Dalmatian, but he's just got some cute little black spots. Some of his spots I actually noticed when I took him out on his head are brown. Uh, when he fired, when he's fired down, he's kind of like a muted tan color, almost like a buckskin. But when he's fired up, he's absolutely stunning and gorgeous. He's a very vibrant yellow. Um, under his crest, uh, fires up to be more of an orangish color. Yeah, I don't know, it's really pretty. Um, he's got brown eyes, which in the picture I thought he had blue eyes. But, you know, that's okay. He's got a very good grip. Um... Absolutely adorable little guy, but yeah, I really trust his breeders. I'm very happy with him, you know, he guided me through the process of, you know, shipping him, um, made sure that he got here safely. Um, yeah, he's just an absolutely gorgeous gecko. I don't really know what else to say about him. I feel like I had more prepared to say. Um... He came packaged in moss, which I thought was a little bit different. From the video unboxing videos I see online, normally they just put them in the deli cups without anything in them, or they line them with paper towel, but he was actually lined with moss, so thank you for the free moss. <laughs> um, I'll leave all of his breeders' information down below so you guys can get um, something from them. If you want, are you gonna jump? Um, yeah, he actually came from Florida, which I live right above Florida. So, well, not right above, but 
in the general vicinity, so. He can be kind of jumpy sometimes, but right now he seems pretty relaxed and good. And his crests, I think, are more, um, predominant than Scotchy's. Scotchy really, like, he's not crowned or anything, but I like his crest better. Yeah, if you can see under the crest, it should look a little darker. Can you see the striping along his dorsal? And of course, we've got spots, no tail. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. You guys, he just went under my sleeve. I don't know if you can see that, but he went under my sleeve. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. Hey, buddy. Um, you're not supposed to go under my sleeve. Well, this has never happened. Hey, baby. Oh, you're so cute. He doesn't like the bright light. <laughs> oh, that was so adorable. You're so cute. So yeah, that was just me introducing you guys to Clyde. Um, I just want to make sure I don't forget anything. I don't know. It took him a little bit to adjust, but he's adjusted really well, I think. Um, I still want to do a comparison with him and Scotchy size-wise. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Scotchy out. I don't really know where he is in his cage right now. But I'm kind of nervous. I've seen plenty of people like take size comparison photos, but I'm just nervous. Because um, I don't want the boys to fight. But we'll see. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and once again, if you want his breeder's information, it will be in the box down below. I think little Clyde is ready to go back into his home, so I shall hurry this outro up. Um, so yeah, goodbye guys.